Good morning, students. Today we are going to see some basics about the association mining or mining association rules. It's come under uh, Unit Four. Uh, so let let me introduce what is association rule. So association rule uh, mining actually it finds interesting association and relationship among large set of data items. Because one attribute may relate to another, right? Yeah, directly or indirectly. So we need to find association and relationship. So when we find these things, automatically uh, for either clustering or classification, it's very helpful for us. Okay. So this rule shows how frequently an item set occurs in a transaction. Uh, better example is a market basket analysis. So these things we will focus here. So let's go through the upcoming slides. Uh, so this is the road map. Map. We are going to see about basic concepts. Then we'll see what is the importance of a priori algorithm, different data formats for mining, mining with multiple minimum supports, mining uh, class association rules, and finally summary. So let's start. Association rule mining. Actually, it is proposed proposed by Agrawal in the year 1992. So it's like very recently only they proposed this algorithm. It is an important data mining model uh, studied extensively by the database and data mining community. Okay, it assumes all data are categorical data. So no, uh, it's not a good algorithm for numerical data. So whenever we have a data set with more categorical values, definitely we can go with the trend uh, with this algorithm. So it is initially used for market basket analysis to find how item purchased by customers are related. See, actually, this market basket analysis means it's not a, a big deal. So what we will do here is uh, that is we are analyzing a customer's uh, way of purchasing. For example, uh, suppose a person is buying milk automatically, there is a heavy chance of buying bread along with that, isn't it? Suppose a, a person is buying uh, toys or kids items, definitely he will buy kids diaper, something like that. So this uh, this kind of relation we will identify based on the data set, whatever the already customers, so many customers purchase, right? So that pattern we are analyzing and we are come for some conclusion. In the sense, we will find the association between the items. Okay, so that is the concept behind market market basket analysis. That is very clearly explained here. Okay, so here usually uh, when they buy bread, there is a possibility of buying milk. So that they are analyzing here. That is one of the example they took. Uh, so here before going further, so technically we need a set of item we will consider as I. So that is I. So that is we have set of I1, I2, up to I. So m number of items. Then we will call it as I. Then Transaction. Transaction, we will name it as T. Uh, it's again, it's a set of items. It is a subset of I. So, whatever total number of items in that, we have a particular transaction. Then, the transaction database, we will name it as capital T. So, it is nothing but again, it's a collection of transactions. That is T1, T2 up to Tn. Okay, number of transactions come under T. So, this is the uh, initial setup for assumption. Then, uh, what exactly do we will do is first we will uh, list out the transaction like T1, T2, T3, like that. Okay, any database will take. So, in this diagram, you can see we have transaction one, they uh, a customer bought bread, cheese, and milk. Transaction two, apple, eggs, salt, yogurt. And similarly, we have so many transactions, and uh, finally, the last transaction you see biscuit, eggs, and milk. Okay, so now the concept, we'll go to the concept. I already explained in a very simplistic way, but here we'll see technically. So first we have to add uh, uh, temp item we should know, an item or article in a basket. That is the element which belongs to a basket that is called item. Then I is nothing but it's a set of all items sold in the store. Okay, so total of whatever items there in the store, we will, name, we will have a big set that is I. The transaction with a particular purchase, item purchased in a basket, it may have a transaction ID also. Usually, we will have a unique ID, right? So, we need to have it as a primary key. So, you all know what is the uh, property of primary key? It should be unique and not null, isn't it? So, like that, we will call this transaction ID as a uh, primary key like thing. Then, a transaction data set in the sense, it's a set of transactions. So now, uh, again, we'll see uh, what are the transactions there. So uh, we will uh, we will not only relate to the uh, buying in a supermarket. We can take it as a school with a document like student teach school, student school, student school, games, student uh, basketball, baseball, player, spectator, uh, coach, game, team, library, etc. So any relevant attribute we can take and we can relate. Okay. So. Um, Again, uh, the rules we have to form. So a transaction T contain X, a set of item or item set in overall uh, set I, 
that is it x is a subset of t so that we know then association rule is an implication of the form that is x belongs to y where x comma y is a subset of i i is a set of transaction uh, i told right then and x distinction y should be null that is there is no independent elements in the subset then an item set is a set of items for example x equal to uh, milk bread cereal we is the item set here we are having three element in the item set suppose i am having milk bread cereal apple bees then we are having a four item set in item set contain four elements then a k k item set is a uh, in general we can say k so k element is there in a subset means then we can say that it's a k item set these are all very, very basic uh, set notations you already aware about it so that only we are using here then we need to find two important rules here one is support and another one is confidence so you should know what is support and what is confidence we need to calculate the support value and confidence so that we can identify the association strength okay so support is nothing but the rule that holds with support is in a transaction data set t is nothing but uh, the transaction x union y that is probability of x union y that is a support now confidence doesn't it's another rule it holds in uh, transaction t uh, let's say confidence is there if confidence uh, percentage of transaction that contain x also contain y that is the probability of one element present in y which also present in x okay so that is the confidence value so whenever we have a data set and we analyze something we need to identify the value of support and confidence so that we can take a meaningful association rule decision so an association rule is a pattern that state when x occurs y occurs with certain probability that's what i said then uh, so support count that is matter uh, the support count of an item set x denoted by x dot count in a data set t that is overall transaction t is number of transaction t that contain x as if t has an has n transaction then definitely support equal to x union y dot count divided by total element that is n total number of transaction n confidence equal to again x union y dot count divided by this x dot count okay so these are the formula you should rem remember so that we can do the calculation flawlessly so the main goal here is we need to so we found support and confidence so what is the expected value of support and confidence so that we can find the association rule so definitely it should contain minimum support and minimum confidence okay the all rule that is satisfies, satisfies the user specified minimum support and minimum confidence so the key features when we find all rules we can say that it is fully completeness there is a completeness then no target item on the right hand side so every element is analyzed mean then again it, that is one of the uh, best thing when we are implementing the algorithm mining with data on hard disk not in memory so these are the things you need to know just one example they gave again uh, market basket analysis same example they took transaction one up to seven transaction they mentioned see uh, you can see it in the slide very clearly in transaction one, the customer purchased beef chicken and milk t2 beef and chicken and in transaction three that is t3 cheese and goods transaction 4 beef chicken cheese similarly 5 transaction 5 beef chicken close cheese and milk 6 chicken close milk and last transaction chicken milk close so now we are uh, support and minimum support minimum confidence we should have a threshold okay we should have assumption so 30 percentage of minimum support 30 percent minimum confidence we are assuming and a frequent item set here we are checking three element three item set that is chicken close and milk so ap ap apart from this seven transaction we are having only three contain this three data element right or item set so we can say that support equal to 3 by 7 now association rule we can uh, from the item set we can say close tends to milk chicken so we have a support value of 3 by 7 then we apply the formula and confidence uh, we will get 3 by 3 isn't it so similarly we have to uh, we have to replace all the element in the item set so that we can see the value of support and confidence and we already assume that the rule is that the percentage of minimum support and the percentage of minimum confidence so if it is that is good we can say that we can categorize the data so a simplistic view of shopping baskets uh, that is the one representation here and uh, the but we are neglecting so many things we are not concentrating here price or the quantity etc but as of now simply we analyzing the relatable purchase so that is the thing we are taking here but several kind of algorithms are there using different strategies and different data structure because in real time example we have uh, 
different attributes of uh, elements right and the importance of attributes also different from the application to application so in that case we need to apply several algorithms so of whatever the optimal algorithm that we can go ahead with that so here uh, so the best uh, another uh, variant of algorithm is the algorithm that we will discuss in the upcoming series okay thank you for watching